which may be just digits on paper. But when it comes to machinery like the Tupolev Tu-95MS, its venerable status belies its potency. It's an intriguing narrative that Russia saw it fit to deploy nine units of this antiquated colossus in the skies over Ukraine, following an attack on a Russian fuel depot. It's a wake-up call for Ukraine, recognizing the jet's potential to bear nuclear payloads. However, the years have indeed left their mark, quite visibly, too. The Tupolev Tu-95MS doesn't sport the sleek, futuristic aesthetics commonly seen in fifth-generation fighter jets. A single glance at its front visage immediately telegraphs its era, primarily because the aircraft features a quartet of propellers attached to its wings. If we delve into the frontal specifics, a unique trait of the aircraft comes into focus. For the skeptics among us, just direct your gaze toward the plane's nose, characterized by its broad, blunt demeanor. This is a far cry from the needle nose design that is a staple in contemporary aircraft models. What augments this aircraft's uniqueness is the incorporation of sensor gondolas on either side of the nose, thereby enhancing both its rugged visual appeal and its functional capabilities. Elevating your view just a notch will reveal an expansive cockpit window that arches over the nose, granting a panoramic vista for the air crew. When observed laterally, the aircraft's silhouette evokes the image of an eagle in a full wingspan. This visual metaphor is owed to the twin engine wings that emanate from the central body of the aircraft, reaching far into the aft. Shifting our focus to the rearward aspect of this machine, it is hard to ignore its imposing dimensions. 151.6 feet in length, a wingspan of 164 feet, and a height of just over 39 feet. One of the standout elements in this segment is its signature tail structure, quintessential for a turboprop aircraft. This tail configuration doesn't just serve as an aesthetic focal point, but endows the Tu-95MS with stable flight dynamics and commendable maneuverability when soaring the skies. Beneath the towering prominence of the tail, Dual, vertical fins anchor the terminus of the tail section. These fins aren't merely for show. Their primary role is to bolster the aircraft's inherent stability and curtail any unwanted lateral rolling tendencies. Undeniably, the Tupolev Tu-95MS boasts an unmistakable silhouette that stands out even amidst a cavalcade of aircraft. Having meticulously examined its exterior, it's time we journey inward to its cockpit. As one steps inside, it's akin to stepping back in time. The cockpit exudes the unmistakable aura of Cold War-era bombers with a digital imprint to be found. Analog is the language spoken here. Given the aircraft's vintage, it's hardly surprising that the instrument panel remains bereft of digital screens. The forward section of the cockpit houses the dual seating arrangement for the pilot and co-pilot. Each has an array of control levers at arm's reach, while directly ahead lies the primary instrument cluster, offering unhindered access to the plane's diverse functionalities. Immediately aft of the primary seating are additional seats, dedicated to other vital crew members. A notable mention is the aircraft's provision for a compact restroom, a quaint yet practical feature. Combat situations aren't the most convenient moments for nature's call, are they? It does beg the question, why have contemporary aircraft designers sidestepped this feature? Old it might be, but credit must be accorded where it's due. The manufacturers ensured that, despite its age, both pilots and crew are nestled in seats designed for prolonged comfort. 
The seats aren't just cushioned, but also adjustable, thus enabling an ergonomic seating posture, paramount for those long hauls across the skies. Progressing to the TU-95 MS's performance attributes, its capabilities are commendable, especially when one considers its Cold War lineage. Fitted with Quartet Kuznetsov turboprop engines, this aircraft displays remarkable speed and endurance. It can reach a top speed of 587 miles per hour, which is approximately 920 kilometers per hour, a feat impressive for any era. Additionally, this plane boasts an extensive operational range, capable of covering distances up to 932 miles. The Tu-95 MS can house an enormous fuel capacity of 185,188 pounds distributed among four tanks situated on each wing. Should this Sizabla volume prove insufficient, the aircraft comes equipped with in-flight refueling capabilities. It's a comprehensive package that understandably makes all opposing nations worry when they hear of its deployment. Arguably, the engine serves as the linchpin that has facilitated the Tu-95MS's continued relevance. It offers not just speed and range, but also the capacity to carry substantial payloads. Unsurprisingly, the Tu-95MS comes laden with an assortment of armaments. Foremost among these is the KH-55 cruise missile, integrated into the aircraft's arsenal. This missile is not just long-ranged, but can also be armed with a nuclear warhead, elevating the level of threat it poses. Furthermore, the aircraft is armed with the Koch-22 missile, tailor-made for naval targets. There's also an AM-23 cannon with a 0.91-inch caliber, strategically positioned in the aircraft's tail turret for defensive purposes. This aircraft, colloquially known as the Old Bear, is also capable of carrying an array of other ordnances, including B-57 and B-61 bombs. Such a multifaceted weapon suite grants the Tu-95MS a unique tactical value, making it a force to be reckoned with in any conflict zone. In simple terms, encountering this plane in a combat scenario is a sign to reevaluate one's options. This aircraft's potency is further compounded by its suite of advanced systems, such as state-of-the-art radar, electro-optic sensors, and communication apparatus. These advanced features allow the Tu-95MS to fulfill a myriad of roles from extensive reconnaissance to real-time surveillance of enemy territories. The intelligence gathered during such missions is invaluable, often serving as the linchpin for broader strategic military operations. The question of cost is inevitable when considering the caliber of this machine. Alas, the exact price tag of the Tupolev Tu-95MS remains a well-guarded secret, not typically available for public consumption. Generally speaking, fighter aircraft costs are subject to wide fluctuations. Multiple factors, such as the technical specifications of the aircraft, unique requirements stipulated by the client, supplementary equipment, and the nuances of contractual discussions all play a role. Yet, based on its previously outlined capabilities, one might surmise that acquiring a Tu-95 would necessitate a truly hefty financial outlay. One plausible explanation for the scarcity of price intel is the aircraft's non-commercial status, which leads to a dearth of publicly accessible cost data. To this day, only the Russian Federation has the distinction of operating this iconic airborne machine. 
Delving into its storied operational past, a TU-95 variant played a pivotal role in the testing of the Tsar Bomba at Novaya Zemlya in the Arctic Ocean on October 30, 1961. The outcomes were nothing short of spectacular. The Tsar Bomba, with its jaw-dropping yield of 50 megatons of TNT, equivalent to a staggering 2,500 times the might of Oppenheimer's atomic creation, stands as one of the most potent explosive devices in history. This underscores why the very mention of this aircraft strikes a chord of trepidation in Western nations. Consistent with its impressive repertoire, the birth journey of the TU-95MS was characterized by a series of meticulous steps. Its inaugural prototype was christened Buran by NATO. After a painstaking developmental phase, the aircraft made its debut in the skies on November 12, 1952. As the years rolled on, the TU-95 was treated to a series of enhancements. These touched upon both its weaponry and its avionic systems. This continuous evolution ensured that the aircraft remained an integral component of the Russian Air Force's arsenal for many decades.